How y'all doing? Hi everybody! It's been a minute um, and a half. I just had to basically take a $500 test and pass it. Which we did. We got it out of the way. So you know we're getting some content. Obviously, <laughs> I don't know what this is doing here. My Vogue magazine. My Taylor Swift. Cella Vogue magazine. This is a, um, you know, collector's item, one might say. And I have my summer sangria. I know it is fall, but mommy was out of apple juice, so. So let's just get right into the video. Today's video. Sorry, I, by the way, I just watched that foot it back, and I just felt like I needed a lip, so we added a lip. Pure Hollywood by Beverly Hills Anastasia. Beverly, Beverly Hills Anastasia. You know what I mean. Today's video is reviewing fashion from the Met Gala. Obviously Vogue, yes. It's just about, I think, personal creativity and I mean sometimes brands just kind of like do their own thing and the artist or the musician or the celebrity has no say. But I think at the end of the day, they were invited and we weren't. So this is what they did with it. I saw a bunch of those Vogue interviews. So I probably, I already know a little bit about the inspiration from the Lukes, but I will give you a little insight into my own initial like interpretation just from like looking at it. But let's get into it, babies. I missed you, okay? We're going to start off with a bang Luke. Quite honestly, I think the most like jarring of the night was Kim K in her little t-shirt robe face morph suit. My first initial thought was like, is she making a political statement? I'm j I was just like lost. It was like beyond me, beyond me of why it was covering her face. She looks like one of those people in those like Halloween morph suit costumes. So that was like my initial impression. I was like something political, but later in an interview I think it was like something about just like t-shirts in America and just like a play on that. I think my favorite part of this is the fact that it outlines the pointy shoes. Other than that I'm sure she had a jarring night trying to find her way around with that on her face. I'm sure it was probably very fun. I don't think this is like the most elegant thing and most probably fun thing because it is just a bunch of t-shirts. I love that she went balls to the walls. That's what I want to see. That's what I personally love to see. Going balls to the walls. We are at the Met Gala, ladies and gentlemen. Next we have Troy Sivan, which I think he looks iconic. The platform boots are just so me. And I think this is just like classic American simplicity and just very like the sleek curls like greasy kind of like leather boy kind of looks like one of those like wrestling suits though which is kind of also a vibe maybe like american wrestler vibes i don't know do wrestlers wear something like this this is what he stated it's inspired by new york's hair down simplicity chic black and white the leather he just thinks that's so american the necklace and the ring or cartier the dress is l2 okay so honestly one of my favorite looks of the night i've looked at all of them is zoe kravitz she's in YSL, my favorite thing to exist. I love sheerness. I was watching the video and I don't think she said this or somebody said this, but it has the YSL logos kind of like interlinked. That just kind of reminds me of America in general, like just logos. I'm surprised we didn't see more logos because Americans are known for the logos, like the logo mania, which was actually kind of started from the black community, which I learned from YouTuber on YouTube, Delaney Child. I think she looks stunning. The undergarments are also bedazzled. And this is just iconic. I don't even know what to compare it to. That's all I got. Zoe Kravitz, an icon. Timothy Chalamet, literal force to be reckoned with. I'm going to say something controversial. I'm not that attracted to the man, although I did start watching his interview and I can see how the personality brings out that vibe i think vibe with the sweatpants and the converse i think that just screams american to me i'm um, not really sure what's going on, on top the like cropped blazer with the two breast buttons kind of like a tuxedo on top my initial vibes were just like a mismatch of everything yes so just a little bit of everything he stated so timothy <laughs> timothy so timothy's blazer is hater ackerman 
His turtleneck is Rick Owens, and he's wearing Chuck Taylors, and he even has some Cartier brooches attached to the sweats. He said he just kind of likes the mix of uptown and downtown fashion, which you can very much see here. Okay, I feel like Sean and Camilla were getting some hate, but hear me out. I don't think they necessarily go together, which some people have issues with. And I agree. I love an on like a, just a duo look that kind of just goes together so well. They're in Michael Kors and she's kind of giving me 70s honestly share vibe with the eye makeup look and the f like the feather boa situation. I know she didn't say that but that's what I'm getting. And he's I'm giving I'm getting just like western rock star drugs does a lot of drugs on the tour bus. So Camila said very 70s Studio 54, disco glam, and Sean, American rock star that drinks too much. Basically the vibes that I was getting. Do I like their looks? Yes. I love Camila's. I love the 70s homage. Um, I just don't think they go together. I think we can appreciate the uniqueness and individuality. As far as like Camila's American inspiration, I didn't really get the vibe. And his is definitely American. So next we have Rihanna. And she looks like a goddamn patron saint set down from the heavens above. Kind of gives me like Roman Catholic vibes. Um, I love the crystal detail, I don't know, on the headpiece absolutely iconic we always are just waiting for rihanna to step out and she definitely did the very like exaggerated fabric just gives me like also like villain vibes with the high kind of back anyways she's wearing custom Balenciaga overcoat and matching hat the jewelry was actually a message her rebel black ring by thelma west diamonds was featured in Sotheby's black and brilliant exhibit centered on black jewelry designers. Love it. Very relevant to this year and overall in American history. I love when they go balls to the walls. It's the Met Gala. Like it's like going to a Halloween party and like going as a devil. Like uh, fine but you could have been a Cheeto. Exhibit A of me liking to go balls to the walls. Next we have Billie Eilish. Miss Billie stepped out in a dress and we were like hey girl giving very much old hollywood vibes like no doubt about it the off the shoulder ball gown the hair classic Mar marilyn monroe i love it but she gave it her own little twist with the like daring eyeliner bold look this color is chef's kiss on her skin tone so she's an oscar de la renta she expressed that she went to them with the idea of holiday barbie but the designers were then talking more about Marilyn Monroe. What did the holiday Barbie look like? Okay, yeah, just like big ass ball gowns, like like low off the sleeve, kind of just like huge ass ball gowns, which is kind of, is exactly what she did. Love it, Billy. Love that you're stepping out. You're feeling empowered in yourself. You look like a goddamn queen. Lily Reinhardt. I thought, well, there was a couple looks tonight that I was like, Y'all trying to steal Miss Thwiff's look, but no. I was just like, you know, if I just saw this off the cuff, I'd be like, you, it's just a bunch of flowers, girl. I don't get it. Love the corset detail, though. And she looks dashing in, in blush pink, I must add. It just suits her personality. But it has been stated that these are the flowers from all 50 states. So that makes sense. Christian Siriano was the designer. That's all I have to say. Then we have Mrs. Kendall Jenner. <laughs> um, if you told me what this was supposed to be, I would honestly have no idea. The cap sleeves are kind of giving me soldier vibes because um, of the crystals and such. Love this look though. The sheer stuff gets me. But Kendall has cleared it up for us. It's a Givenchy custom and it's Audrey Hepburn's My Fair Lady like kind of replica and I've seen the picture and it makes perfect sense. I just didn't, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not with the times, kids. I'm not, I can't see everything, but it's stunning and it's one of my favorite dresses. It's not too daring. It's just like, I want it to look hot. Obviously, Lil Nas, <laughs> my boy, had to step out he pulled a Lady Gaga and did the try look. 
which, you know, you just get undressed basically on the carpet. From immediate glance, I don't think it fits the theme very well. I don't remember a time when Americans were wearing such royalty overcoats or armor like that. It is honestly one of the best looks of the night that didn't fit the theme. In my opinion, I don't think this fit the theme. But that doesn't deter from the fact that he stepped out on the Met Gala and made a statement. So maybe he is just making an homage to royalty and that's my initial thought, but that's all I got. Super liberated in the final look though, that's what the vibe I'm getting. So he had the royalty cloak, that's his, he kind of explained his outer shell, his most like hidden self when he first came into the industry, and then there was the armor so you kind of break it down more. That was his like first wave of coming out, he said. And then the glitter glam is kind of just the final round of it where he's at now, where he's like truly liberated and kind of out, out. He, that's what he said. I love when people just take it to the next level and are doing outfit changes because I love outfit changes. And the designer was Versace. Miss Casey Musgraves. I have no initial judgment of this look just because I saw her interview. <laughs> before I even like the, me seeing her look for the first time was the interview so I know that it's equestrian, equestrian inspired and it's Ralph Lauren it's a safe option Ralph Lauren's an American designer it just works but I think it's just a little too underdone for my liking for the Met I love a very like cost almost cost to me look it doesn't have to be so like eccentric for example something like Timothy Chalamet I appreciate that. It's non-conformative. So then we have Justin and Haley Bieber. Um, initially I'm just like very simple all black looks. I love the kind of border trim crystals she's got going on. I think it fits her very nicely. It's simple. Just I guess that's American. She's wearing YSL and that's kind of exactly what she said. Timeless American beauty is exactly what she was going for and in that case I think she nailed it is it obvious that it's that not really just a simple look which like I said Met Gala we're pulling loose Justin is in his own brand Drew House and honestly I like his look better and I would have worn something like that that's great that's I like that the wide leg pant on the suit I appreciate it the no tie and the sneaker I think it's just classic American and I give him props. I give him credit where credit is due. That that's a good look and I appreciate kind of the Americanness of a suit. They just look like they're going to a random event. Anyways, doesn't matter. Moving on. Next we have Miss Addison Ray. When I first saw this dress I was like, ma'am, I have a wedding coming up. May I have this? Please, please, please. Simply amazing. Um, imagine me in red. A dream. A fever dream. Just the way it pulls in different directions, the ruching, the layering, the straps. Are you kidding me? And the hooks? Oh my, I can't. The corsety vibes? It's too good. The only thing that doesn't make sense here is she did her hair different. Love the hair, Miss Ray. But I don't think it goes with the dress very well. I think her dark hair would have just like made this a, a huge moment. And I think she just dyed her hair like a day too soon. This is vintage Tom Ford, so we did follow the theme of, you know, vintage American looks. Next we have Miss Gigi Hadid. I'm getting old Hollywood from the hair. Love the red. The gloves, hair with the clip. I'm kind of getting Audrey Hepburn vibes. I'm really confused by that under black piece though. Like what's going on there? Is it supposed to be showing? I think it's supposed to be showing. She's wearing Prada. She said in a Vogue video that she's kind of celebrating American it's doing something regal, simple, it's a nod to the first ladies, to the 50s and 60s. I think if I were to look at her, I'd go, oh, old Hollywood. Just another one of those. Miss Sierra. Okay, obviously, obviously. The football theme here is just simply what I needed. I love this. The green, the sequins, and just like so, just in your face, obvious is iconic. Apparently she's dating a, a football player. I don't know these things. She's wearing a Super Bowl ring. People, this is true. Showing up to an event. This is how you do it. One of the best looks of the night. Thank you, Sierra, for understanding the assignment so well. 
but to the point of going balls to the walls. People understood the assignment, you were the designer, you were inspired from looks, blah blah blah. No, I wanted in my face costume-esque Met Gala vibes. This is only once a year, people. Miss Sierra is in Peter Dundas. Then we have Mrs. Anna Wintour. Now, we all know with this dress. You know, if Lily Reinhardt, we thought that was giving Taylor vibes from the Grammys, no, 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 no. This dress is like the, like the grandmother of Taylor's dress from the Grammys from Oscar de la Renta. This is also Oscar de la Renta. And I think it's kind of like, in my own opinion, it's a nod to Taylor at her own event copying something so Anna Wintour, which is basically the haircut. 2016 Grammys haircut is Anna Wintour. So Anna was like, I'm gonna return the favor at my own event. I'm going to wear something classic Taylor. And I just think it's a wonderful, maybe this is like a Taylor is here in spirit. Any any questions, you can see my my manager. Thank you. Next we have Madison Bia. Um, She looks gorgeous as usual. Hair, again, giving me old Hollywood vibes, but the dress on like initial first glance just looks like something somebody would have worn to my senior prom. But you know, it's definitely not a Luke at all. But that being said, apparently she said it was inspired by Marilyn Monroe. We will look it up. And yeah, I can, the orange dress, I can definitely see with like the middle kind of mermaid style vibe. So kind of on theme, love that. It doesn't change the fact that in practice, it is just a little promy. Hunter Schaefer, I am scared, but I am in love. I love just like alien armory vibe. That's what I'm getting and I'm here for it. I really don't have much to go off of. This is iconic. This look, simply iconic. I don't know how this girl is seeing. I don't know how Hunter is seeing. I don't know, but she is just giving me complete vibes right now. So she explained it as a little bit of late 90s grunge, a pinch of playful dystopian sci-fi, and just a sprinkle of romantic horror. Look from Prada's spring 1999 collection. I don't know how American that has to do, but I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. I'm gonna say it right now. I don't care how much you follow the theme. I would rather you pull a Luke you just look iconic on the floor, then you fit the theme so much. 10 out of 10 for you, Hunter Schaefer. Olivia Rodrigo. I think people were giving this mixed reviews. I think she looks like Catwoman, and I think it's daring. So I will give her that. The feathers are very good. She looks like, I got nothing else to say besides Catwoman. That was my initial thought. The lace is too good, and it's very like punky, which is kind of on her vibe, so I think that's perfect. So Olivia is in YSL, and she kind of explained it as American punk music stuff, punk rock, kind of feminine-esque. I think she pulled a half look, and I appreciate the bodysuit. I just feel like in the middle about this look. I'm like not in love with it. I don't hate it. It is, you know, she's pulling something different here. We're not in like a damn dress. I just don't know what it really is. Megan Fox. Okay, the bangs. <laughs> I appreciate them for what they are. I just, I never vibe with bangs like this personally, but I think she looks stunning either way. I don't have to like the damn bangs. The dress though, I think that steals the show. The glittery, just the caging and very intense romantic yet scary moment we have going on here is very wildly feminine and I kind of think it expresses femininity in a way in America. She's not afraid to do what the fuck she wants. She is wearing Dundas. The color and dress are inspired from Bram Stoker's Dracula, kind of that gothic scary vibe, um, vampires, stuff like that. And she has the goth clip and bangs. Next we have Crimes. She looks like a damn movie character here. Scary alien avatar, intergalactic warrior space princess. Every character I've ever written about, read it, read, read about in a YA novel. It's truly iconic. I love the sword. I have no idea what this has to do with America, and I don't give a damn because I love this outfit. This is a true. She looks like a fish, but a scaly warrior. The hair intergalactic, but also the face mask is giving me knight and shining armor vibes. I don't even know who Grimes is, but now I want to know. This is this is how you pull a Luke. This is a full-on Luke. Thank you, Grimes. So it was just inspired by 
basically she said sci-fi movie or sci-fi movies specifically the movie dune and the designer is iris van herpen next we have pete davidson which is just a delight my friend katie is obsessed with him so we had to include him we can't skip Pete. It's a long coat with the black trim. Kind of gives me like 50s American vibe, but I like his ex explanation better. He's kind of wearing a skirt, which love that for you, Pete. Love you're going out of the traditional menswear. And I think he pulled a half look. I think he pulled a half look. But I honestly love what he said about it better. This is Tom Brown, and he basically said, I wanted to wear it because they invited me. Can they stop? They are too much. I swear to God, these people have no respect. Good answer, Pete. Good answer. Kiki was also like poking fun. She's like, you kind of look like a slutty nun. He's like, yeah, that's kind of what I was going for. And I just love that. He does look like a slutty nun. Good vibes, Pete. He was giving me all the good vibes. Then we have Cara Delevingne with a peg the patriarchy. This vest looks like Captain America or I was almost thinking like a bulletproof police vest, which is very American nowadays. I Cara Levine states in her Vogue video that pegging is when women use something to penetrate a man in the ass. So clearly we're just trying to peg the patriarchy, the society that is ruled by men, and we are just, women are just gonna shove it up the ass. F that. We're not doing that. Which I agree with. Thank you. Pretty clear message and it's iconic. I almost sound like a hypocrite right now but I'm gonna say it. This top looks too costumey for me. Like it's too kind of, I don't, it's too cheesy. I think it's the kind of outlining it and like the text. Um, love the hair and the pants. Love the message and I love, I just don't think the execution's there. It could be formed as aggressive though. I think that's saying something about our society in general. If we think that is aggressive because of what women endure in modern society. Then we have Haley Seinfeld, which I think was an underrated player, if you will. And I'm gonna say it right now, she's pulling a damn look, people. This is how you show up to the damn back out. You pull out a new hair. It fits this outfit so well. She looks like Snow Queen, fairy, but also she kind of looks like, like bronchioles of the lungs. So maybe she's going for like, you know, maybe the theme she was going for was like America has high rates of lung cancer. I don't know. Probably not though, because that, that would be offensive. Um, but she looks like a big lung, and I think she looks amazing. She's pulling a look. I don't know if she's ma matching the theme very well. I don't think she is. She's an Iris Van Herpen, and her Instagram story, she had a fairy caption, so that's what I think she was going for. I don't really know much about this look. I don't need to know much else. I love it. The erasure of the eyebrow, I'm really here for it. And lasty but not leasty, we have one of the hosties of the interviews, Mrs. Emma Chamberlain. And I didn't see anybody talking about the inspiration for her look. I would have loved to see that more. Like I said, I wasn't going digging and I wasn't going to do like internet research. <laughs> She's obviously in Louis Vuitton, obviously. Um, the dress, I like it. Um, the cutouts are nice. What really stands out to me is the makeup look, though. The dramatic look. Very pretty dress. It's just not daring enough for me. And that's okay. You know, it's her first met. Give the damn girl a break. She looks iconic. And that's it. That's my review of the Met Gala fashion with my own thoughts along with what they have said they were inspired by. I hope you'd enjoyed it. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Give it a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Kisses, bitches. Yeah. <laughs>